The tree of life, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for April the 4th, 2021, according, from, according to St. Mark. When he had called the people to himself, with his disciples also, he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, but loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his own soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with his holy angels. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, that there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. My dear brothers, Christ is among us. Christ is in our midst. Today we are celebrating, of course, the third Sunday of, of the Great Lent. And we are celebrating the exaltation of the Holy Cross. And I decided to entitle my meditation today as the Tree of Life. In contrast with the treacherous Tree of Death, touched and eaten by the fruit eaten by Adam and Eve, that resulted in their own death and our own illness throughout humanity, disobedience was the fruit of that original tree. Disobedience and pridefulness, the desire to become like God, seduced by the devil, they found death. And in the plenitude of the time, being born from a virgin, the very Son, co-eternal with the Father and the Holy Spirit, became flesh to show us the way. For he has also said, I am the way, the life, and the truth. And to where is he calling us? Whoever wants to come after me. To where? To life eternal. What? Would you pay for the fountain of youth? What would you pay for the fountain of life? Well, there is a tree. And it is free. Albeit, it is a grace from God. It is for everyone that desires to have it. But first, there are some things that we must do in order to have it. That tree of life is the cross. And just down on me today, after almost two years of constantly, every time that I put myself the cross on, ever since I was ordained a priest, we repeat these words, the words of this gospel. Whoever wants to come after me, let him deny himself, pick up his cross and follow me. And then we end always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. It just downed on me, thank to God that what we are following Him is to life eternal. If we strive with all our strength, with all our heart, with all our mind, to follow the Lord, to obey Him, then He assuredly will open the door of life eternal, not only to His disciples, which would be the priests and the bishops, and the deacons, of course, but to everyone that follows him. And what do you need to do? You need to deny yourself. That seems to be harsh, but what it means basically is that you are going to obey God every time. That is giving yourself up, giving your will up and willing only that the will of God be done in your life. It is very difficult. And it is very dangerous also. It is very advisable for you to start praying and get yourself a spiritual father in the Orthodox Church so that he might guide you if you really are willing to be saved and are willing to try and obey God at all times. That 
what that is what the monks do. But the promise of God is an incredible one. That if we deny ourselves and spend our life following Him, we will be undoubtedly receiving heaven. I would like to express my gratitude and to tell you that I pray for each one of you that so hard has helped us. Uh, thank you with the ones that have helped us. There, there are not many. There are a few. We we'll still are needing quite a bit. Um, if any one of you feels moved by the Holy Spirit to help us in the mission, there are a couple of ways down below that you can help us with. I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I also tell you that we constantly pray for you. May God bless you. To all of us, to all of you, I pray to God that He will enlighten the eye of your soul, that you may see the way leading to the tree of life. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.